We are gathered here today to sip some tea, honey. So make sure you guys have your teacups ready because this tea is what? Piping hot. Hey, you guys, it's your girl T, and I hope everybody's doing good today. Make sure you guys have your teacups ready. Get ready. Y'all get ready. Yes, you get oh, ready. Because this tea is what? Piping hot. Hey, you guys, it's your girl T, so I want to go ahead and shout out Anitra Love. She was one of the first ones to send me this request. Yesterday was Woman's Day, and I was so busy running around, but somebody else was not having a really happy Woman's Day, okay? So if you guys do not know, local DMV radio personality Danny Starr literally got blindsided by her co-host live on the air, and it just got so bad that she ended up quitting her show. So basically what happened is that a week before this, she had been saying that she's looking for a nanny to help her with her two children. She has two daughters, but her current husband that she's with, he's cheated on her before. So she feels like she only wants to hire a particular type of nanny and that people were sliding into her DMs talking about, you know, they want to be her nanny. They want her to hire them. And one of the girls who slid into her DMs was an Instagram model. And so they were conversating about that. They never mentioned her name or anything like that. But Danny basically said that she would never hire her because she's not going to basically dangle, you know, a stake in front of her husband. That doesn't make any sense. So instead of her two male co-hosts leaving the situation alone, they decided to invite the Instagram model onto the show. And they basically blindsided Danny. This entire exchange was just sad. It was insane and it was crazy. I want you guys to go ahead and listen to this really quick. And I'm come back with the rest of my commentary so i hit her up because i really needed a job again i'm a model mm -hmm. um i'm also a singer i'm an actress you know i worked my way up to this like this isn't something that happened overnight so you know like i said my grandmother you know i watched my grandmother struggle you mm -hmm. know what i'm saying trying to take care of kids and you know things like that and i raised a lot of my nieces and my nephews and mm -hmm. you know so when she sent the post i'm like well you need help you know what i'm saying and this is something that i can do like so let me help you mm -hmm. so when i reached out to her i'm just like you know what's up like you know this these are my credentials you know i've been doing this for a few years gotcha. and it was just like no i'm not letting a pretty woman into my house like, well, just because well, i look well, good well, well, to, well to be clear i did not even respond to the post so mm -hmm. let, let's be clear but you um, heard the show on tuesday that's great gotcha. i and, heard the shade and, okay oh, and, well, here, so, yeah. so here's the thing um you are very beautiful you don't have to call and you, hands. No, I, you don't you uh, you don't be tell speak. me what speak. i get to do today the two of y'all can kiss my ass Whoa. For real. Whoa. Kiss my ass. You the two of y'all don't have no idea. Sweetheart, I'm not, not I'm not speak. gonna I'm not gonna make this about you. Because, about her. You're not gonna on. stick this on us because it is about her. You can Go be ahead. quiet for a second. Speak to her. Because I'm talking. Go ahead. Okay? Mm -hmm. I'm not gonna make this about you, baby okay. girl, because this is not. But what I do with my household and mm -hmm. what I choose to do with my household is nobody's concern. Right. And what I choose to bring up to my co-host and to the world, I did not use your name. I did but not do anything. Because you put it out there. So you now that you put it out there, we have to address it. And just right. to be clear, I never res I never said it was you, and I never responded to you. So okay. your ego, your ego made you think that you were the only pretty girl that slid in my DM, sweetheart. No, it's not just my ego. Let you know what I'm saying? And even if even if I'm not the only pretty girl, let me state on National Women's Day Tell that her. I will speak up for all the pretty girls Tell that step in your Why? DMs because you feel like no, you're not going to hire a pretty girl because of your insecurities. Huh? So let's get that straight See, this, this is morning. This what I'm talking about. This I'm not, not no. I'm not oh, call a spade a spade. Bob, you be calling a spade. I'm, 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 I'm not even going to address her because this isn't about her. This is about you and this is about you. You're I'm trying to make it about no, us. You're going to be quiet and nah. you're going to listen. On International Women's Day, I'm going to ask you to be quiet. Mm -hmm. This is what's going to happen. Right. You do not ambush your co-host. Mm -hmm. You do not do that because okay. one thing, I am not insecure, okay? okay? I have been cheated on. I have been very open and vocal about my stuff. Gotcha. But I get to decide what happens in my household, okay? Right. My daddy slept with a babysitter, so I know my situation. You're beautiful and that's great. You can be your model, sing and ask, do all that stuff. But you are not. I get to pick who is around my children and who is around my man. And no, you will not be quiet. Right. And, and that. that's understandable, but the comments that. that you made, the comments that I made was were disrespectful. Not, not, no, they weren't. I said you're okay. beautiful and you appear to be smart. That is complimenting you. I said, okay. but, no, but. I said, but I don't want you in my household. I get to decide what and happens why? in my okay, household. Okay, so why, why don't you want me there is the real I question. Don't, I don't have to answer to you. You did, man. I don't have to answer okay. to you. And okay. I definitely you, don't have to okay. answer to you. Okay, man. Because you're asking okay. me live on the radio show. Mm. You better stop wait, waving your hand like that because all of y'all, <laughs> this is a setup and y'all ain't Manny nothing. You fuck your hand and swear on the radio. Manny you want to be me, I can't swear, swear on the radio because y'all ain't nothing in all my life. I will be, this will be my last day of work with you Manny, ambushing Manny. that negative ass. Ooh, now, we, hold on, so now, so now, now let me get this right. Let me get this right. I, I allowed you to talk. 
I've been quiet for now. You allowed five me to be set I'll up. Be yeah, you I'll allowed me to be set up, Quicksilver. So now, with that being said, this young lady, because now you're making this about Quicksilver and Five, and you're making this about us. Like, this ain't about her. Like, this is about her. This is. I allowed you to talk, Danny. <laughs> you allowed me to talk. Thank not, you for allowing not, me to now, talk. Now you've been, it's, it's you. not about a sexist. Thank you, Quicksilver. Okay, now, now she's trying to be sarcastic. No, because now, now I'm pissed. I'm Because in conversations, you converse by going back and forth. If Danny only talks, it's no longer a conversation. It's now Danny being, talk, being talk, diplomatic and being diplomatic. And now you're being, no. Danny, you're allowed to speak. Now, Quicksilver in Five Nights and the young lady who's here, she's allowed to speak. Who's hurt? Well, she's genuinely right. hurt. So she's now, not hurt. No, I really am. And I feel some mm -hmm. type of way because yes. it's not just about me. Like I said, I'm going to, I'm trying to be the voice for all the pretty chicks. Like I said, that stepped in your DMs. Like, I just think you jealous. Like, for real. Just, of what? 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 what do you mean? Of what? What do you mean? What am I jealous of? Because, because you're pretty See, too you're, and you're hitting on another no, pretty young woman. you're disrespectful. Young woman. How am I jealous? I'm disrespectful. Y'all going to let a woman come in here talking about I'm insecure and I'm jealous? Listen, because you're no, okay. No, I'm okay. not gonna listen to but some people. But you had, you had the opportunity when she wasn't here. Are you out your damn mind? When she wasn't here, when she wasn't here, when she wasn't here to okay. defend herself. Yes, you wanted the smoke. And simply, now listen, okay. today, you have that same energy. Right now that I'm here, I have that same energy. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. We all can't talk at the same time. And it's not no, Danny, you be quiet for thirty seconds because I'm gonna allow you to talk. No, so at this point. The young lady, ambush. the young lady simply said this, and this is what we say on the air. When all the call, I'm going to make this very clear. This is not quick and five ambush and Danny. This yeah, is to okay. all the callers. Okay. So let me say this again, so I can make sure I'm verbatim. This is not just about Danny. So Danny can't say again. Quick, so it's about Danny. Listen, this is not just about Danny Star. I know it's Danny Star. Hold on, she wants to make it about Danny Star. The conversation is more about discrimination. Why All right, so you guys just heard that clip. Now, the crazy thing is, is after Danny walked off the show, they basically sat there and kept talking to this Instagram model, roasting Danny, clowning her, and everything else for upwards of an hour. So people were shocked, like, you know, this is insane. This is y'all's co-host. Y'all allow her to ride out, and y'all sitting here key keying it up with this damn Instagram model. Like, this is just so crazy. So after the show, um, Quicksilver's wife, I believe it was Quicksilver, his wife called in, and she basically flipped out on him. She went off about the shenanigans that took place on the show. Quicksilver also apologized. He took the social media to apologize because folks started dragging them yesterday on social media. So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys what he had to say on social media. I'm also going to play the clip of him talking about this situation and his wife chiming in. Go ahead and check this out and I'm going to come back with the rest of my commentary. Come on the fam in the morning and tell our side. Right. That show went how it went. And everybody was fine with it. So we had a, you know, everybody. Right. So I want to make this clear. It's, it's not just about Dan. A lot of listeners start calling and saying, hell no, we won't absolutely go. Absolutely not. Right. not and, and the metaphor that Dan used, you're not going to bring a piece of steak around a lion because a lion might get tempted. Right. And then we use an analogy that your granny always said, don't allow a man to be a man or being your man. Because now if you bring this pretty young lady around your man, he might have to choose between being a man and your man. Right. These are all things that we all agreed upon. Some. Yeah. Some. Some. some, some. So, me and Five kept going back and forth saying, Danny, that's not right. Don't discriminate against a young lady simply because of her looks. Her looks. In that, the same way we did Auden, um, our producer, shout out, we, we got in contact because the girl hit us directly. And yeah. Said, you know what? I heard the show. I want to now come on the show and voice my opinion. At that moment, at that moment, we should have, at that moment, said, Danny, guess what? Remember when Autumn reached out when we decided? Right. Such and such reached out. Right. And now she wants to come on this show. We should have. And for that, I completely apologize because we did not. Right. We didn't give Danny Starr the option of saying, you know what? Quick five. You know what? You're right. The same way Autumn was, everybody's so excited. Let's bring her on the show and let's get her voice and let's get her opinion to now figure out her side of the story. We did not do that. We should have. We should have. I, and, I, I apologize and, and for that. We, we, we could have. We could have given her maybe a heads up. I not maybe we could have. I absolutely apologize, and not that I need to give an excuse or reason, but the reasoning was we always, when we do our show prep, we always say certain things. Save it for the air. That young lady on the show. Right. We simply wanted to let her and allow her to say, you know what? A lot of us, you know, because of our looks, we don't get certain things. Because I've always heard the thing, pretty girls get the privilege. Right. So at this point. Let us speak a piece, but I uh, hold on. I gotta ask you one. Baby here? Hello. Yes, baby. 
space. Can I start to show his messy I don't, I don't want to make my phone. That was messy. I'm so disappointed in you. Like, to treat her like that today and allow somebody to be on air continuously for a f***ing hour, that's not okay. So, if y'all want to rate it, if y'all want to be quiet, if y'all want to rate it or whatever, like that, if it, number one, it shouldn't have happened. Like, it shouldn't have happened. If y'all want to, that's not okay. That's not okay. Right, right. It's not okay. And this is not about daddy being insecure. Because you f***ing went, 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 Trey Songz in there feeding me f***ing you. If she don't want to buy her f***ing house, that's fine. If y'all wanted to bring a girl on the show, that's also fine. Let Danny know yesterday. Because you, you, you ain't say nothing. Baby, listen, baby. I, I understand your anger and I understand Danny's anger. What's the difference between Danny so excited to bring Autumn on and now you because it's on Danny? Because that's not cold. I told you that f***ing show is messy. Okay, baby. And that's not okay. It's fine for, for, for tips and giggles and if Danny would have knew yesterday and Danny would have been said, okay, bring her in yesterday or had time to prepare. Tell us somebody at 5.30, 6 o'clock in the morning, somebody's going to be there at 7. That is a f***ing attack. And if Danny would have slapped the hell out of her and out of y'all, I would have said Okay, baby. If it was me, baby, I would have punched the hell out of this girl. No, you weren't. I'm glad you weren't up here, baby. By 7.06. My wife, Ashley, as you can see, she's not joking. So I definitely want to say once again, I apologize. I apologize. I used a judgment call based off of how we do it. We used it. I apologize. We used a judgment call. I apologize. Call. And, and, and listen, in radio, you don't want to let someone know because it's better when it's, it's genuine. genuine. It's genuine. But in this instance... I shouldn't have thought radio. I should have thought personal feelings and how Danny would take this. So once again, Danny Star, and to any other lady that we might have offended, we completely apologize. Uh, it's the fam in the morning on KYS. All right, so you guys just heard that clip and you guys just heard what Quicksilver's wife had to say about this situation. So now as of this morning, Danny Starr took to Facebook to basically explain her side of the story and why she walked off the job. I want you guys to go ahead and check this out and I'm gonna come back with the rest of my commentary. <laughs> myself and figure out how best to navigate this so I want to give my side of the story not feeling ambushed so last week I my nanny quit unexpectedly she had some family issues that happened and I was empathetic to the situation but also still need somebody to take care of my kids I had a conversation with my person um, and we talked about like what we were looking for whatever bunch of people Y'all, I'm, I'm heated, so y'all gonna give me a second, okay? So um, a bunch of people applied. They sent a whole bunch of different stuff. And somebody who slid in my DMs was a young lady. She was absolutely beautiful. And um, I don't know what, you know, smart, whatever. I don't know any of that. All I could see was, like, how she looked. She just said, like, hey, I'm available, and I can watch your kids. So I want to clear up a few things. The She came in today unexpectedly. I did not know that she was coming in. That's where my issue lies, because as a member of a show who is equal parts, I have been on a show where the show was the man's name, right? So like, it's obvious you're not equal. Um, multiple times I've been on a show where it was the so-and-so show or the so-and-so show. It was never like um, the fam in the morning. We are a team. We are a group. You know, we're equal parts on this morning show. And, um, you know, we do show prep every night, every morning, and we talk about everything that is going to come up. So obviously to my surprise this morning when they just bring on homegirl, mind you, I never even responded to her direct message, okay? So they took it upon themselves to reach out to her and let her know it was her. Um, I also don't feel bad. As a, as a feminist, as somebody who is about women equality, I don't feel bad for not allowing someone in my house who I don't want in my house. She's a very beautiful girl. Yes, I have been cheated on. For all of y'all who are screaming, she was cheated on, it's her past. Right, don't you learn from your past, okay? So first things first, my father cheated with the babysitter, okay? I have a whole brother out there who the babysitter had, who I'm pretty sure is my brother, my actual blood brother. So there's that. Second, my husband cheated. 
I don't think that makes you insecure. I think that can make you proactive, okay? So do I trust my person? Absolutely. Absolutely, I trust my person. I think he's the dopest dude I've ever dealt with. But we as a couple sat down and we talked about what we wanted. I asked him if a Manny was a possibility. He said, absolutely not. So if he gets to choose that we can't have a Manny, and there were some man applications, how come I can say, listen, I don't want her in my house because I just don't want to have, you know, every single day. It's different if we work at a daycare center and she's showing up. This is my house. You know what I'm saying? Listen, I can stand next to Halle Berry and still feel confident. I love my spirit. So I come to work with beanies on and some sweatpants. Like I'm comfortable in myself. So all that insecure stuff, everybody's talking cool, whatever. Everybody has insecurities. But what I'm not going to do is come to my place of work, which actually is my safe haven. Okay. My, I doubt myself as a mom. I doubted myself as a wife. I doubt myself as a partner sometimes. I doubt myself as a friend. I do not doubt myself as somebody who busts her ass on the radio. I've been doing this for like 15 years. I know I'm good at it. I know why I'm here. So for me, it's just like, um, I just don't want to be ambushed All at right, work. All right, so you guys just saw what Danny Starr had to say. And I agree with Miss Danny Starr 100%, okay? This has nothing to do with being insecure. It has nothing to do with being jealous. First of all, when it's your household, you have the right to invite who you want to work in your household, point blank, period, okay? Why would she hire an Instagram model to come and work in her household, be around her children, and especially her husband, especially when she's had infidelity issues with her husband in the past, and she even said her father cheated on her mother with the babysitter, and they created a baby. So why would she not learn from that? You know, you do not invite drama into your home. Your home is supposed to be your sanctuary, and if there's somebody in your home making you feel uncomfortable, comfortable or second guessing yourself or your marriage then they don't need to be there so for these men to go behind her back and bring this woman on the show is just ridiculous to me and for the woman to even come on the show and be confrontational to me is crazy you would never call a real life employer and start going off on them about them not giving you a job you would not walk your thotty ass into bojangles and start cussing out the manager if he chose not to hire you so what made you think that it was okay to call into the radio station and confront the radio host about her not allowing you to be her nanny that is her choice. That is her household. You need to go sit your ass down somewhere, okay? And I think her co-hosts were just, they were shady. They were shady as hell. They didn't have her back. They were downright disrespectful. That's what you call fake-ass friends. They should have had Danny's back in the situation to the point where they wouldn't even allow that girl to come onto the show. And for them to allow her to come onto the show and to be disrespectful and to be belligerent as she was, it says a lot about her so-called co-host than anything, okay? Now, a lot of people are saying, okay, well, fine. Maybe she should just hire, you know, an ugly woman or someone who's not as attractive okay let me go ahead and remind y'all about Arnold Schwarzenegger okay do y'all remember what ended his marriage Arnold Schwarzenegger was fucking the nanny and this nanny you know I don't go in on people's looks she was not the most attractive nanny okay and guess what happened Arnold Schwarzenegger was still smashing her got her pregnant okay then come to find out the child was his and she was still his nanny for a number of years acting like that wasn't his child until all the secrets came out that it was his child, that he was smashing the nanny. And after that, Maria Shriver was like, you know what, I'm out of here. Arnold Schwarzenegger toasts his son, Joseph Baena, on the teen's 19th birthday and publicly declares his love for the boy. Happy birthday, Joseph. Great student, great athlete. I'm proud of you and I love you, Arnold posted on Instagram. Joseph was born out of a scandalous affair with the family housekeeper. So just hiring an ugly nanny doesn't mean anything. You know what I'm saying? Some men are just trifling like that where they will sleep with the nanny and even get the nanny pregnant, okay? So the whole situation is just nuts. I don't blame her for not allowing this woman into her household. And the way that this woman acted on the radio station proves that she made the right decision, okay? So again, I think her co-hosts were not only unprofessional, but they were just foul as hell for putting her in that situation. You don't sit there and go against your co-hosts while having the back of a stranger that you don't even know. You know, so I feel like there might have been a lot of things going on behind the scenes that we're not privy to. But to me, this is not a cohesive family at all. For them to do that to her and throw her under the bus just shows how shady they were. I couldn't imagine something like this happening on The Breakfast Club. So anyways, y'all, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts on this entire crazy situation concerning Danny Starr. Do you think she was right for not hiring that Instagram thought to be her nanny? Or do you feel like, you know what, she's just insecure and that's on her? And then how do you feel about her co-host basically and ambushing her and disrespecting her and then how do y'all feel about his wife calling in and going off on him this entire situation was a hot damn mess i mean the fact that this took place on women's day just says a lot okay so don't forget to click the link down below to cop yourself a copy mug or a t-shirt i will talk to you guys later all right deuces
you guys, it's your girl T. Make sure to subscribe, like, and share my videos. You can also visit lovelytea.com to purchase any merchandise. Also, don't forget to click the boxes down below to watch any of my previous videos. Talk to y'all later. Deuces.